John, Lucy, you've done a couple of these now. What was the best thing about today's Green Britain chat for you both? I thought the thing about today was that we had real people. You didn't feel anyone was a soapbox. They were really there with their own personal ideas. And so the whole idea of people power was was very, very strong. I really felt there was a, even though there were lots of disparate ideas, there was a great communion of wanting to go in the same direction. Yeah, I think so. And also the volume of people, the crowd was amazing. There was loads of people here. And I think the conversation really flowed. I felt like it was a real conversation between mm. all of us, which is, I think is what you're saying as well. And the best thing is they didn't all drift off. I mean, they, they were all there throughout the whole thing. We had a really big crowd. They were asking questions about what they can do now. They've seen the talk or they might be looking at this online. If you've got an opinion or a view on something, how, what, what do you think as two people who are influential? How can they get their message out about their views and their beliefs? I'm not sure I'm as influential as this chap, but I would say that they could enter the Ethical Awards, which launch tomorrow, happily, and Helen Taylor of Ecotricity and CEO of Forest Green Rovers is on our panel, I can exclusively confirm. What a booking. Um, so you can really be acknowledged, tell us what you're doing and be acknowledged for the work you're doing. And also we wanna take those models, for me it's about matching innovation with activism. Take those models and get them out there, amplify, it's all about amplification. I think people should start in their own small network, in the office, in the home, wherever. I mean, just, just this idea of no longer buying plastic bottles, I mean, that is a big thing. And it's something very easily done. You buy your own rather attractive container, um, and, and, and that's it. Uh, the temptation just to leave it at home, forget it, and go and buy, so, no, I'm sorry, no water today, that's all your fault. You didn't Ooh, bring your disposable bottle, your, your, your reusable bottle uh, you're going off to buy a plastic bottle no 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 and you and you do it you start small you start in the office in the corner that you occupy and spread it out try and get everybody to commit to no plastic in the office yeah and also I like this I like this strength that you're talking about here John but I think it's really really important that with plastic with the throw away single-use plastic you've got to be zero tolerance about it with yourself you've got to put your own boundaries there and say absolutely no and energy energy you know I mean your personal energy and the energy you use think about what you're doing with the, with, with the electricity you use um, and the car that you drive and do you really need to need a car um, what about the bike, yeah, ride a bike. <laughs>